All right, what's going on guys? It's Kodromo here back with another video. Today, I have a special one for you. I just woke up, I'm drenched in sweat. It's gonna be a good time. But today we're gonna rank every single pistol in the game. And I'm gonna give you some insight, some tips, some advice with each pistol as we talk about it as well. So it'll be a little bit informational, a little bit fun and just overall a good time for all of us. So if you didn't check out my last video, I ranked every single gun in the game and then every single map as well. And we talked about how I feel about each of them. So, you know, it's just how it is. It's a great video. Um, but you guys seem to love this type of video, so we're gonna keep going with it. One more. Let's rank these pistols and get to talking. So first up, we have the USP. Now this USP is just insane, right? Like on pistol round, it's just such a satisfying gun. It's very solid. The problem is it doesn't have much viability outside of the pistol round because it's your default weapon. But because it doesn't cost you anything and it, it's, you know super effective for zero dollars i have to put it in a tier it's so good it gets its job done and it's very good for the usp i'd recommend very long ranges take advantage on pistol round headshots because they're not going to have head armor and just be very like annoying to play with when you have it be long range be peek out jiggle back and forth and be stealthy with it because it has a silencer they're not going to know necessarily where they're getting shot from so enough said for the usp um let's talk about the tech nine the tech nine can be extremely scary and there's it's hard to find a pistol that's better than it um because of the 500 dollars and you can run and gun it's essentially the freest way to get yourself an upgraded rifle from killing somebody with a 500 hundred dollar pistol it's literally more broken than anything i've ever seen in my life and honestly i think it deserves a spot in s tier our first spot already i know it's crazy it's wild with the tech nine get up in their face spam them run with it be active be mobile all right, I have a message from the sponsor of today's video. Thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Skins Monkey. They are the greatest and easiest to use automated CS2 trading site. With it being Christmas season, there is no better gift to give yourself than a new CS2 inventory. They offer a 35% bonus for every cash deposit and a free $5 for $100 worth of trades when you use my code KOJO. Skins Monkey provides an instant way to get new skins with tons of great features. Skins Monkey is offering a free gift to everyone right now. You can get a completely free CS skin, up to 50% deposit bonus, or a free balance on the website from your gift. The first gift is free and the others come just from trading on the site. There is zero hidden tricks and you only need a Steam account to participate. I received a nice M4 and UMP from my gifts. My favorite part of this event is the advent calendar, which gives you a gift every Every day you can receive a deposit bonus xp and tickets to a giveaway of 13 skins for 13 winners called santa's raffle this is your chance to win knives and cool skins i hope you all enjoy these christmas giveaways and joy from skins monkey make sure to use my code kojo for huge bonuses let's talk about the worst pistol in the game the r8 um it's just so bad it, anything that it can do a deagle can do better it costs eight hundred dollars it's the most expensive pistol there's just no room for it in the game in my opinion like i i just don't think any serious player will ever use it when i see someone using this i just know they're throwing they're trolling my game i'm about to have a horrible experience i might as well just be going to the doctor's office to get poked in needles instead of watching someone try to use the r8 effectively so d tier worst gun in the game honestly i want to change this to f tier because it, it is just awful we're gonna change that right now it's gonna be s a b c and f because it's just a horrible gun now the p250 300 pistol the cheapest gun you can get you can use it on four spy rounds it's very good for that um it's just very limited on what it can do at long range it's not the most accurate it, don't get me wrong it's not inaccurate but it can struggle when you're kind of shooting like faster pace right um on pistol round it's good to drop it to someone on t side and use it as kind of like a raid boss and they have long range battles because it can one shot to the head it can be like a sniper but outside of that like the p250 finds its value on on save rounds when you want something better than a usp and i think it's just a solid b tier weapon like it's not bad and for 300 dollars, it, it honestly gets a lot of impact out of it now let's talk about the p2k no surprise here guys if you watch the past video i don't like the p2k i think it belongs in c tier and hear me out it's just the worst version of the usp it's not silenced you know it's it's just grow up and use the usp in my opinion you're going to use it kind of exactly similar way to the usp long range battles on pistol round you're going to one shot to the head it's great with that the advantage that the p2k does have is it has more bullets and more ammo so you can spam through smokes a lot more and it's good for that but i like the the 
you know ability to have a silenced gun with the usp because if you flank behind people on a around or you know get yourself in a spot you shouldn't be you can confuse them with the usp by you know shooting them from behind and they don't they're like they're in that moment where they don't know what's going on with the p2k they're gonna know right away so c tier now the glock the glock is similar to the usp where it's great on on pistol round because it's doesn't cost you anything you can get armor with it and you know there's no commitment no investment from you the problem is the glock is just useless outside of pistol round right the most value you're gonna have out of it is like if you have to pull it out in a in a fight and they don't have head armor because they just assume there's no reason because you have an ak that's the only time the glock is good is when the other team just doesn't care right um it definitely is worse than the usp and yesterday i don't know if i made that clear but someone commented below and they're right it is bad and i'm just gonna put it in b tier because it is great on pistol round and here's how you're gonna use it get in their face and be aggressive it's kind of like the worst version of a tech nine on pistol round you got to get up close you got to get in their face and you got to be able to one shot them by closing the distance right aim for head do not aim for the armor it's going to be useless it's going to be a bb gun at, uh if you're aiming for the armor so yeah that's the glock now let's talk about the five seven a fun gun to use with this gun you're one gonna you're gonna wanna that's a fun way to say things uh be close range with it it's a 500 hundred dollar pistol and in csgo it used to be so good now in cs2 it's still really good but just not as effective um so you know you're gonna use it the same way though like i said close range you want to ideally buy this on like save rounds or you know kind of half by four by rounds and your whole goal when you're using this is to get a rifle or to get one of their guns right um you know i think it's very effective it's very strong get close range in them um and you can make some plays but you know overall i think it's just a low a tier i, I really do i mean i hate putting it below the usp though i really do i think it is better than the usp obviously um but when you factor in price and like you know just effectiveness of it it's definitely strong like I, i'm like nitpicking it but it's a strong gun don't get me wrong now speaking of an extremely strong gun again no surprise if you saw the tier list for all of the weapons the deagle is just broken it is definitely the best pistol in the game there's no debate about that 700 you can one shot people at any range if you are a good player a bad player anybody the deagle is the gun you're going to use like honestly it, it's just too broken i hate dying to the deagle i feel like it's way too overpowered and sometimes the deagle is better than you know a rifle and then at close range at two shots people it's just so good like it's insane now speaking of garbage though bad gun bad gun i would say the cz i mean some people are insane with it but just overall it's just not a fun gun it is a fun gun to use but it's just not an effective gun to use and you know i just don't think that there's much value in using it um I think overall that it's just a bad gun. I would put it above the P2K, but put it in C tier. I, I just I think that it's just way more effective uh, to be using the 5.7 instead of to be using the CZ. Now, my most favorite guns to use on pistol round. These things, if you have them, you can spam them faster than anything. Like, it's insane, right? It's like you're playing a completely different game. But outside of pistol round, they're kind of ineffective because they don't do much damage at all to opponents that have armor right so they're kind of not good to use outside of that you might as well have a p250 outside of pistol round but i genuinely think because of how good they are on pistol round that carries them higher because you drop two of your teammates these uh you know you don't have armor but the two teammates on ct side have armor and dualies they can sit there and win the whole entire round for you winning more and more you know winning the next rounds for you essentially so i think with that i i love them i really do i think they're a tier i don't think they're s tier just because you can't use them outside of pistol round but because of what they can do against unarmored opponents i literally love them and get so many clips with them it's just feels so good so satisfying and it is peak counter-strike when you're getting a highlight reel with dualies it's just a feel-good moment so you know let me know what you, f what you think about my list what would you have changed because i know there's a lot here that we could change and make sure to subscribe to my channel help me out so much and i'm looking forward to 2024 i got some bangers that i'm cooking up for you guys we're going to switch to more quality style content instead of daily videos but yeah i mean i think this is fun though still so yeah thank you guys so much hopefully you had a great christmas happy new year to everybody i'll catch you guys later peace out